My God, if it isn't my old friend Ivan Vasilyevich. Glad to see you, my boy. Glad to see you. This certainly is a surprise, and that's a fact. How are you doing? Oh, okay. And how are you doing? I, I mean... Uh, we get by, my boy. We get by. Glad to know you think of us occasionally and all the rest of it. Oh, sit. Have a seat. Be my guest. Glad to see you. And that's a fact. Mustn't forget your old friends and neighbors, you know. But why so formal? What's the occasion? You're all dressed up and everything. Are you going to a party or what? No, I, I only came to see you, Stepan Stepanich. But why the fancy clothes, boy? You look like you're still celebrating New Year's Eve. Well, you see, Stepan, Stepanich, I hope I'm not disturbing you, but I came to ask a little favor. This won't be the first time I've had the occasion to, uh, as they say, ask for your help. And I, I really want you to know that I admire you when I do it. Uh, excuse me, this is not making me very nervous. I'll just take a little drink, if that's all right with you. He wants me to lend him some money. I won't. So, what exactly are you here for, hmm? Big, strong boy like you. Well, you know, I have the greatest respect for you, Stepan Respectovich. Excuse me, Stepan, excuse me a bit. This is making me very nervous, as you can plainly see. But what it comes down to is this. You are the only person who can give me what I wanted. I know I don't deserve it, and I really don't have any right to ask for it either. No, my boy, you don't have to beat around the bush with me. Speak right up. What do you want? All right, I, I will, I will. What I came for is to ask for the hand of your daughter, Natasha. Oh, Mama, Ivan Vasilievich, say that one more time. I don't think I caught the last part. I came to ask... Oh, lover boy, buddy boy, I can't tell you how happy you've made me and everything and all the rest of it, and that's a fact. Oh, my, I have always loved you like you were my own son, and you know it. Oh, God bless the both of you. Oh, I've always hoped this would happen. It's a dream come true. From the bottom of my heart... <sighs> But why am I standing here like a big tummy? Happiness has got my tongue. That's what's happened. Happiness has got my tongue from the bottom of my heart. You wait right here. I'll go get Natasha and whatever. Well, what do you think, Stepan Stepanich? Do you think she'll say yes? Good-looking fella like you? How could she help herself? Of course she'll say yes. And that's a fact. She's like a cat in heat and all the rest of it. You wait right here. I'll be right back. Awful cold in here. I'm starting to shiver like I'm about to take an exam. The main thing is, you've got to make up your mind. You keep thinking about it and talking a lot and arguing back and forth and waiting for the ideal woman or true love. You'll never get married. Cold in here. Natasha's a very good housekeeper. She's Kind of good looking. She's been to school. What more do I need? I'm starting to get that hum in my ear again. It must be my nerves. And I can't just not get married. First of all, I'm already 35. It's about what they call the turning point. And second of all, I've got to start leading a regular, normal life. There's something wrong with my heart. I'm always, I've got a, a murmur, I'm always nervous as a dick. The least little thing can drive me crazy. Like right now, for instance, my lips are starting to shudder, and this, this little what's it keeps twitching in my right eyelid. But the worst thing about me is sleep. I mean, I don't. I go to bed, I lie down, and as soon as I'm about to fall asleep, something in my left side goes, pound into my shoulder, into my head. I jump out of bed like crazy, and I walk around for a while. And then I lie down again, and just as I'm about to fall asleep, all of a sudden, something in my left side goes, 
and it happens twenty times a night. <clears throat> oh, it's you. Just you. Papa said go look in the other room. Someone wants to sell you something. Oh, well, how are you anyway? How do you do, Natasha? Oh, oh. Oh, excuse me, I'm still in my apron. We were just shelling peas. Uh, so, how come you haven't been by in such a long time? Sit down. You feel like something to eat? No, thank you, I already ate. <laughs> uh, beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, yesterday it was raining so hard, the men in the hayfield couldn't do a thing. So... How many stacks you people got cut so far? Oh, you know what happened to me? I got so carried away, I had them cut the whole meadow. And now I'm sorry because, oh, the hay's going to rot. Oh, my. Look at you. What do you got on those fancy clothes for? Oh, well. Huh. Aren't you something? You're going to a party or what? Oh, you know, you're looking mighty cute these days. So, what did you get all dressed up for, huh? Well, you see, Natasha, I have decided to come to ask you to listen to what I have to say. <laughs> You'll probably be surprised and maybe get mad. <sighs> cold in here. So what did you come for, huh? Huh? Now, I'll try to make this brief. Now, Natasha, you and I have known each other for a very long time, ever since we were children. <laughs> and in fact, I've had the pleasure of knowing your entire family, uh -huh. my poor dead aunt and her husband. As you know, I inherited my land from them, uh -huh. always had the greatest respect for your father and your poor dead mother. The Lomovs and the Chubakovs have always been on the friendliest of terms, almost like we were related. And, and besides, well, you already know this. And besides, your land and mine are right next door to each other. Take my meadow land, for instance. It lies right alongside your birch grove. And Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I think you said my meadow land. Are you saying meadow land belongs to you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Well, I never. Meadowland belongs to us. Oh, no, Natasha. Meadowland belongs to me. Well, that's news to me. Since when does it belong to you? Well, what do you mean, since when? I'm talking about that little pasture they call Meadowland. Uh -huh. The one that makes a wedge between your birch grove and the birch swamp. Yes, I know the one you mean, but it's ours. Oh, no, Natasha. You're making a mistake. That field belongs to me. Ivan Vasilich, do you realize what you're saying? And how long has it belonged to you? What do you mean, how long? As far as I know, it's always been mine. Now, wait just a minute. Excuse me, It's but... all very clearly marked in the deeds. Now, it's true, there was some argument about it back a ways, but nowadays everybody knows it belongs to me, so there's no use arguing about it. What happened was, my aunt's grandmother let your grandfather's tenants have that field free of charge for an indefinite time in exchange for their making bricks for her. Now, your grandfather's people had that field for free for about 40 years, and they started to think it belonged to them. My grandfather out, and my grandfather, great-grandfather always said that their land went as far as Burnt Swamp, which means that Meadowland belongs to us, so <laughs> there's no point in arguing about it. I think you're being rude. Well, I can show you the papers, Natalia. Oh, you're you just know. teasing. You're trying to pull my leg. This is all a big joke, isn't it? We've owned that land for the last 300 years, and now all of a sudden you say it doesn't belong to us? Ivan Vasilich, excuse me, I can't believe that you said that. And believe me, I don't care one bit about that old meadow. It's only 12 acres, it's not even worth 300 rubles. But that's not the point, it's the injustice that hurts. And I don't care what anybody else says, injustice is something I just can't put up with. Please, you weren't listening to what I was trying to say. Your grandfather's tenants, as I was trying very politely to point out, used to make bricks 
for my aunt's grandmother. Now, my aunt's grandmother was just trying to make things oh, easier for everybody. Grandmother, grandfather, father, what difference does it all make? That field belongs to us, and that's that. That field belongs to me. That field belongs to us. Now, you can go on about your grandmother until you're blue in the face. You can wear 15 fancy coats, but it still belongs to us. It's ours, ours, ours. I don't want anything that belongs to you, but I do want to keep what is my own. Thank you very much. Natalia Stefanovna, I don't care about that field either. I don't need that field, but I do care about the principle of the thing. If you want that field, you can have it. I'll give it to you. Oh, if there's any giving to be done, I'll do it. That field belongs to me. Ivan Vasilich, I've never gone through anything this crazy in my life. Up till now, I've always thought of you as a good neighbor, a real friend. Last year, we even lent you our threshing machine, which meant that we had to do our threshing in November. And now, all of a sudden, you treat us like gypsies? You'll give me my own land? Uh, that's... Uh, uh, excuse me, but that's a pretty unneighborly thing to do. In fact, in my opinion, it's downright insulting. Oh, so in your opinion, I'm some sort of a claim jumper? Is that it? Look, lady, I've never tried to take anyone's land, and I'm not going to let anybody say that I did, not even you. Meadowland is mine! You lie. It's ours. It's mine. You lie. I'll show you. I'll send my mowers out there today. You what? I said I'll send my mowers out there today and they'll hay that field flat. What are you doing? I'll break their necks. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Meadowlands is mine, you understand? Mine! Please stop shouting. You can... Scream and yell all you want in your home, but when you're in mine, try to behave like a gentleman. If I didn't have these heart murmurs, these awful pains, oh. these veins throbbing in my temples, I wouldn't be talking like this. Meadowland is mine! Ours? Mine! Ours! What's mine. going on here? What are you both yelling for? Papa? Please, will you explain to this gentleman just who owns Meadowland? Him or us? Lover boy, Meadowland belongs to us? I beg your pardon, Stepan Stepanich. How can it belong to you? Think what you're saying. My aunt's grandmother let your grandfather's tenants use that land for free temporarily. And they had that land for about 40 years and started to think it belonged to them. But when it turned out what the problem was... Allow me, sweethearts. You were forgetting that the reason those people didn't pay your granny and all the rest of it was that there already was a real problem as to just who did own the meadow and all the rest of it. But nowadays, every dog in the village knows that land is ours, and that's a fact. I don't think you've ever seen the survey map. I can prove to you that Meadowland belongs to me. No, you can't, lover boy. I can too. Now, don't get upset. You can't prove anything by getting upset, and that's a fact. Listen, I have no interest in taking any of your land, and neither am I interested in giving away any of my own. Why should I? And if it comes down to it, lover boy, and you want to make a case of it and all the rest of that, then I would just as soon give that land to the peasants as give it to you. So there. You're not making any sense. What gives you the right to give away someone else's land? I'll be the judge of whether I have the right or not. Listen, young man, I am not used to being talked to in that tone of voice. I am twice your age, boy, and I will ask you to talk to me without getting so excited and everything. No. You, you're, you think I'm stupid? You're making fun of me. You stand here and tell me my own land belongs to you, and then you expect me to be calm and talk as if nothing has happened? That's not the way good neighbors behave, Stepan Stepanich. You are not a neighbor. You are a usurper. Well, what did you call me? Papa, you 
you send our mowers out to Meadowland this very minute. You boy, what did you just call me? Meadowland belongs to us, and I'll never give it up. Never, never, never. We'll see about that. I'll take you to court, and then uh, we'll see who it belongs to. To court? Well, you go right ahead, boy. You take us to court and all the rest of it. Oh, now I get it. You were just waiting for a chance to take us to court. <laughs> It's inbred, isn't it? The whole family was like that. They couldn't wait to start suing. They were always in court. And that's a fact. You leave my family out of this. The Lumbubs have always been decent, law-abiding citizens, not like some people I can name who were arrested for it. Desolate. Your uncle, for instance. Every single one of the Lumbubs was crazy. Every single one of them. Every single one, all of them. And your uncle was a fallen down drunk, and that's a fact. And your aunt, the younger one, she used to run around with an architect. An architect! And that's a fact. Your mother was a hunchback! My heart, I've got a pain in my side. My head's starting to bounce. Give me some water, please. Your father was a gambler and a glutton. And your aunt was a tattletale. She was the worst gossip in town. My left leg is paralyzed, and you're a sneak. My heart. Everyone knows that during the last elections, you people... I haven't got spots in front of my eyes. Where's my hat? You're low and lousy and cheap. You are a blowdown. Two-faced snake in the grass, and that's a fact, an absolute fact. Here's my hat. <laughs> Where's the door? I how do I get out of here? I think I'm dying. My leg is paralyzed. I can't move. And don't you ever step foot in this house again. You go ahead and take us to heart. Go ahead and see what happens. He can go to hell. What a creep. See if I ever trust a neighbor again him after this. Crook! Creep. He goes and takes someone else's land and then has the nerve to threaten them. And would you believe that wheat worm, that chicken brain, had the nerve to come here to propose? Huh? He proposed. He proposed what? What? He came here to propose to you. Proposed to me? Why didn't you tell me that before? That's why he was wearing that stupid coat! Oh, what a silly sausage! Me? He came to propose to me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make him come back. Make him come back! Oh, oh make him come back! What is Please. the matter? What is the matter oh. with you? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. What have I done? I ought to shoot myself. I ought to be hanged. I ought to be tortured to death. Oh, I think I'm going to die. Please make him come back. All right. Just stop screaming, please. Oh, what have we done? Make him come back. Make him come back. He's coming. He's coming back and everything, goddammit. This time, you talk to him. I can't. And that's a fact. Oh, God almighty. Oh, oh. The assignment of being the father of a grown girl. I'll slit my throat. That's what I'll do. I'll slit my throat. We yell at the man. We insult him. We chase him away. And it's all your fault. It's your fault. No, it's your fault. All right. I'm sorry. It's my fault. This time, you do the talking yourself. I'm having a heart murder. It's awful. My leg is paralyzed. Oh. The whole left side is going to... Oh, you'll have to excuse us, Ivan Vasilich. We got a little bit too carried away. <laughs> anyway, I just remembered. Meadowland is yours after all. What's wrong with my heart? It's beating too loud. Meadowlands belongs to me. Uh -huh. This little what's it just putting in both my eyelids. No, it's yours. Meadowland is all yours. Here, sit down. We made a mistake. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, it was always just the principle of the thing. Uh -huh. I don't care about the land, but I do I 
care about the principle, the of, principle the thing. of the thing. I think we should talk about something else. And besides, I really can't prove it belongs to me. See, my aunt's grandmother lived your oh, grandfather's now, tenants now have that land for enough. free. Uh, why don't we change the subject? I don't know where to start. Oh, how's the hunting? Are you going anytime soon? Oh, yes. Geese and grouse, Natasha. Geese and grouse. I'm planning on going after the harvest uh -huh. is in. Uh -huh. Oh, did I tell you? The worst thing happened to me. You know my old town guesser? Uh -huh. He went lame on me. Oh, he found my silish. That's terrible. What happened? I don't know. He must have dislocated a hip or maybe he got in a fight with another dog and Ooh. got bit. He was the best hound dog, oh. not to mention how much he cost. I got him from Moronov, I paid 125 for him. Oh, Ivan Vasilich, you pay too much. I thought it was pretty cheap. He's a real good dog. Well, Papa paid 85 for his hound dog, Messer, and Messer is a much better dog than your old Gesser. Oh, Messer is better than Gesser? What are you talking of about? Of course he's better. I mean, he's not full grown yet. He's still a pup. But when you want to bark at a bite, you can't find a better dog. <laughs> Tell you, Stephen, you seem to be forgetting something. Messer has an underslung jaw, and a dog with an underslung jaw can never be a good retriever. An underslung jaw? That's the first I've ever heard of it. I'm telling you, his lower jaw is shorter than his upper. What did you do? Measure it? Of course I measured it. I grant you he's not bad on point. But you tell him to go fetch and he can barely pick up In the first trick. place, Messer is a purebred from a very good line. <laughs> he's the son of Pusher and Pisser. So, that limp foot mutt of yours couldn't stand a chance with him. And besides which, your old guesser is old and ratty and full of fleas. He may be old, but I wouldn't take five of your messers for him. How can you even say that? Guesser's a real hound, and your messer is a joke. He's oh. not even worth worrying about. Every old fart in the county has one just like your messer. There's all mess of them everywhere you look. You pay 20 rubles, you pay too much. Ivan Vasilich, you're being perverse on purpose. First you think Meadowland belongs to you, now you think Gesser is better than Messer. Now, I don't think much of a man who won't say what he knows to be a fact. You know perfectly well that Messer is a hundred times better than that, that dumb Gesser of yours, so why do you keep saying the opposite? You must think I'm blind or stupid. Can't you understand that Messer has an underslung jaw? It's not true. He has an underslung jaw. It's not true! Stop shouting. What are you lying for? Oh, I can't stand this. You ought to be getting ready to put your poor old Gesser out of his misery, and here you are comparing him to our Messer. You'll have to excuse me. I can't continue this conversation. I'm having a hard murmur. <sighs> That just goes to prove what I've always known, that the hunter who talks the most knows the least. Will you please do me a favor and shut up, my heart is starting to pound. Shut up! I will not shut up until you admit that Messer is a hundred times better than Gesser. He's a hundred times worse. I hope he croaks your old Messer. My head's torn, my head, my eyes, my shoulder. Your guesser doesn't need to croak. He's dead already. Shut up! I'm having a heart attack. I will not shut up! Now what's the problem? Papa, will you tell us frankly, on your honor, who is the best dog? Guesser or Messer? Step on, Stepanich. I just want to know one thing. Does your messer have an underslung jaw, yes or no? Well, what if he does? What difference does it make? Anyway, there isn't a better hound in the whole county, and that's a fact. Don't you think my guesser is a better dog? On your honor! Oh, now, lover boy, don't get upset. Just a minute, you will. Yes, sir. 
has his good points and whatever. He's um, uh, thoroughbred. He's um, he's got a a good stance and um, nice round hindquarters and all the rest of it. But that dog, you want to know the truth, boy? He's got two vital defects. He's old, and he's got a short bite. Oh, excuse me, I think I'm having another hard burger. Let's just look at the facts, shall we? All I want you to do is think back to that time in the field trials when my guesser kept up with the count's dog, Fresser. They were going here to here, and your messer was all half mile behind. He was behind because one of the count's men whooped him as his whip. That's not the point. All the other dogs were chasing the fox, and your messer was chasing the sheep. That is not true. Now you listen, boy. I have a very short temper, as you very well know, and that's fact. And so I think we should keep this discussion short. He whooped them because none of the rest of you can stand watching other people's dogs perform. You're all rotten with envy. Even you, buddy boy. Even you. All someone has to do is point out that someone's dog is better than your guesser, and you started with this and that and all the rest of it. I remember exactly what happened. And I remember, too. And I remember, too. What do you remember? My heart rubber. And my leg is paralyzed. I can't move. Ah, oh, heart rubber. What kind of a hunter are you, anyway? You do better out in the kitchen catching cockroaches than hunting foxes. A <laughs> oh, heart rubber. Oh. <laughs> She's right. What kind of a hunter are you? You and your heart murmur should stay at home instead of galloping countrywide. Oh, you say you like to hunt, but all you really want to do is ride around the country arguing and interfering with other people's dogs. You are not, and that is a fact, a hunter. And what makes you think you're a hunter? The only reason you go hunting getting good with the cows by heart, you're a sneak. A sneak? A what? You shut up. A sneak! You young whippersnapper, you puppy! You rat! You rickety old rat! You shut up or I'll give you a backside full of box shot, you snoop! Everybody knows that your poor dead wife, my heart, used to beat you! My head, my legs, I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna faint! And everybody knows that your housekeeper has you tied to her apron strings. Oh, wait, 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 here it comes! A heart attack! My soldier, are coming, done. Where's my soldier? I think I'm dying. Get a doctor! Oh, whippersnapper. You milksucker. You snoop. You make me sick! What kind of a hunter are you anyway? You can't even ride a horse! Papa, what's the matter with him? Papa, look at him. Even the village. Oh, he's dead! Oh! Oh, I'm sick. I can't breathe. Give me some air! Oh, he's dead, Ivan Vasilich. Ivan Vasilich, what have we done? Oh, he's dead! Oh, get a doctor! Get a doctor! What now? What is the matter with you? He's dead! Oh, he, he, he's dead! Who's dead? Oh. 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 Oh, my God. Oh. He is dead. Oh. oh my god! Get him a drink! Get a doctor! Oh no! Here, drink some of this. Here, here, take some of this. He's not drinking it. That means he's really oh dead. And all the rest of it. Oh. This is terrible. I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself. Why have I waited so long to kill myself? What am I waiting for now? Get me a knife! Lend me a gun! Ooh. Oh, I think he's gonna live. Oh, here, drink some of this. Here. Oh, that's it. Uh, uh, everything's all spots. It's all crowded. Where am I? Just get married as soon as you can, and then get out of here. Okay. She says yes. She 
she says yes, and all the rest of it. I give you all my blessings, all right? Just please leave me in peace. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh. She says yes, all right? Give her a kiss. And then get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, he's alive. Yes, yes, I say yes. Oh, go ahead. Kiss him. Kiss him. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Where am I? Oh, now I remember. My heart. Those spots. I'm so happy, Natasha. And my leg is still paralyzed. Oh, I'm very happy, too. And I'm getting a weight off my shoulders. Oh. But all the same, you can admit it now, can't you? Necessary. No. Is he better than yes, sir? No. Worse. Better. Worse. Better. And they live better. happily ever after. Better. Bring on the better. champagne. Worse. Champagne. Better. Bring on.